one of my primary goals in running this channel is to talk about the visual strategies that are employed in the videos themselves in order to elicit engagement from the viewer. So slow motion in particular in film is used to pull attention to a particular event. And a director might drop music in over the top of it to increase emotional engagement, but there's actually been research done on this. And you guys know me by now, of course, I'm gonna trot out the research that indicates people tend to focus more and associate more with the, with the characters, I'm putting that word in quote, on screen whenever an event is in slow motion. And they also have an altered, skewed perception of time. So in other words, they underestimate the amount of time something has taken place. And I'm sure many of you have at this point seen plenty of videos with these techniques employed because there are so many. This originally started just as a slow motion phenomenon and it would happen whenever you would get a baby monkey, for example, falling out of a tree and the videographers in heavy competition with each other wanting to pull your attention even more would take that moment and then they would slow it down and then they would slow it down further and then they would slow it down so much that it was actually distorting the, um, the clarity on the screen. All of this so you can get every, every ounce of nuance and trauma that you could possibly get out of that particular moment. And it has developed in recent months to include fast forward and to include reversal, which is when it spins forward in time and then spins backward in time. And the purpose of this is a bit more sinister. And these high speed fast forwards and then reversals tend to make a mockery of this whole thing. They tend to make it very comedic. Oftentimes it will also be accompanied by a soundtrack that's either goofy music or overly sappy music or even just the sounds themselves exaggerated in order to emphasize that this is supposed to be funny. These highly edited segments, which will repeat the incident one, two, three, four times and take it backwards, forwards, reverse it. These incidents are always put at the beginning of the video so that it hooks you in. And most people honestly do not watch past that because here's the real reason for all of this. It makes you engage. These techniques are incredibly successful at one, getting your attention and two, stoking the outrage. Stoking the outrage of the so-called Karens. By the way, I am more than happy to be called a Karen. That's A-OK -okay, cool with this dude right here. And when people are outraged, it's very easy to lose your impulse control and comment, which, of course, helps these videos. The more comments, the better. But using this technique also gets the attention of people who like the abuse, who get off on it. And they will comment, too, and encourage it. And it drives up engagement as well. So it's actually hooking into two different demographics for the exact same purpose. And this is one of those things where you probably knew all this already. You probably intuited it whenever you saw the videos. But naming it specifically as a technique allows us to think about it rationally and to recognize it the next time it happens and to not fall for it. I hope this was helpful. I've got a longer one coming out soon about Uncanny Valley and why that may be a reason, not a rationalization, but a reason for the intense averse reaction that some people have to non-human primates. And hopefully that will be coming out real soon.